Hey, I'm Ryan with Beyond the Tent, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Bose RV car refrigerator. I haven't checked this thing out yet at all, but it looks awesome. So let's dive in and take a look. control and hook it up for our phone Bluetooth that's cool all right so the car refrigerator here runs on DC current and obviously the DC is included but it also has an AC adapter for the DC plug here so let's get it plugged in and check it out a little bit deeper looks like our plug-in is on this side we got a nice long cord here this thing's legit that's what six uh, 12 feet or so So this is kind of neat too. Um, we have a port right here for a solar panel directly in. I like to run my EcoFlow Delta Mini for power, but I could take the panel I use for that, plug it straight in. And if you want to check out that EcoFlow Delta Mini, it is an absolutely awesome power bank. We'll put a little uh, video link right here for you to check out. Let's get the AC adapter on here and see how fast this thing cools down. Oh, look at that. We can go directly and I thought we were going to have to uh, plug the DC into this adapter here, but I was wrong. So we're going to swap this out and go directly in right back here. And it looks like, what do we got here? It looks like this is a port for a battery, but mine did not come with a battery. So if that's something you're interested in, it looks like it's something you can get your hands on. So let's take a look. Got the uh, little monitor right here and it looks, this is kind of neat right off the bat. We have a USB port. We can charge our phone, whatever we want to charge right there, right along with everything. So we'll turn it on. And we have two compartments here, um, a small one and a larger one. But assuming you can go with your, you know, frozen goods over here, your refrigerated goods here. Each one has a nice little basket. We can pack our food all up, bring it on, take it in and out that way. Kind of nice and handy. I like that. Um, I thought this was a neat little addition. A little cutting board right here. Fits neatly on the top. I mean, they really thought this thing out. This is really kind of cool. And then temperature looks like is controlled. We have dual zones. Looks like we have kind of an economy mode and a max mode. I don't I doubt you can see this at all, but we'll try to zoom in here in a minute. So I've got the bigger, larger compartment here set to 40 degrees. Okay, so pressing button over here, now I can set the freezer compartment, which is currently set to negative four. I'm just gonna go like 15 degrees right now. That should be freezing, but maybe uh, negative is better. Each compartment is at about 79 degrees right now. I've seen these before. I've got a, uh, I got a larger powered cooler like this, a larger one. And it has two separate doors, one for the com freezer compartment and one for the refrigerator compartment. This one's a little bit smaller, so I mean, technically they kind of seal and they're both controlled separately, but it's just one big lid for the whole thing, which is fine on this smaller one. I also like, you know, simple little things like the wheels, the simple things in life. They make you happy. And the, uh, the little uh, handle here, that just makes it nice, especially when these coolers are a little bit heavier than normal coolers. So that's pretty slick. Let's see if we can find out how much space goes to the refrigerator and the freezer area. They do sell uh, power banks on their website as well, as well as solar panels. So neat little combo, especially if you're gonna be doing some um, bell tent glamping like we have set up here. Uh, would be go with your power bank, a solar panel, your little mini fridge, freezer, and you've got a whole setup. Throw your TV in there and some, you know, electronics and you've got glamping set up. Um, EcoFlow, which is uh, a power bank I've gotten really like as well, they just came out with uh, a new little uh, air conditioner so you could go you could go bananas on your glamping trip. You could you could get a air conditioner running in there, a fridge freezer, a TV, some solar panels outside and you don't have to go home unless you have to go to work. So how much space do we have allocated to each area? 
We got a built-in low voltage protection, low power consumption, goes negative four up to 68 degrees. I don't know why you'd ever want to say 68 degrees, so I want my stuff kind of warm. I don't know, but anyway. One thing that I found kind of kind of cool on here compared to other ones of these that I've seen is all of your like basic operation instructions are like in a nice little sticker right here. It's the simple things. They make me happy, like the wheels, the handle, like I said before. So it looks like 25 liters on the large side and 10 liters on the small side. So we can absolutely fit some soda in here, some basic stuff, you know, maybe a couple days of food. You know, you could fit some ice cream over here, maybe a half gallon of ice cream and a little bit of meat or, you know, five, six, seven pounds of meat over here, some chicken breast. It'd be good for a, a little weekend uh, trip away. Me, I've got a big family, so this would be enough food for maybe one, two days. But uh, that's fine though. If I'm out glamping like this, I'm usually not too far from the store. Go get what I need, come back, keep it in the freezer. A few ice cream treats, everything for night. We're good to go. But anyway, uh, price point, $539.99. It's a little bit on the spendy side if you ask me, but for what you get, this thing is pretty darn cool. If you've got a Yeti, those are like 500 bucks for you know similar size, maybe maybe a little bit cheaper than that. But the coldest the Yeti can get is the ice you put in there. So you know 30 something degrees, you're not going to keep your ice cream frozen. This is going to keep your ice cream frozen. So one thing I'm kind of curious about is if we can set both sides to freeze, or maybe I want the lar the larger side to freeze. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're currently set to 39 degrees, 20, 20. Okay, I like this. All right, so this makes me happy. And go down to negative five. I can set them both for the same temperature. I can set them both for zero. So I can use the whole thing as a freezer if I want. If I want to bring, say, a, uh, a cheap Coleman cooler, I could even put a little water bottle in here and keep supplying my cheap Coleman cooler for my pop, stuff like that, that just, you know, it just needs to be chilly, whatever, and keep my frozen goods in here. That is probably how I see envision myself using this. Um, I'm not probably using this on any uh, pack-in, camping trips, anything like that. I'm not gonna bring the, the power bank, the solar panels, this. That's a lot to walk in. And we've gone to quite a few where, you know, even when you just have to park and walk in a mile or two, that's a lot. But any car camping, any glamping, this is kind of fun kind of nice um, especially if you're going for a little bit longer of a trip and you want to keep things frozen so let's just give it a little bit of time and see how long it takes to get the desired temperature I can feel it running I can see uh, one quadrants down to 69 degrees and dropping so all right it's been about a half an hour and we are currently at 52 and 39 degrees respectively so Takes about a half hour to get cold and ready, and uh, then you're good to go. There you have it, the Bose RV uh, car cooler. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Give us a subscribe, and uh, make sure to check back for more videos like this in the future.